WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. The programs normally scheduled at this time will not be seen so that we may bring you exciting baseball live. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Miller Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. WON Sports presents New York Giants Baseball, powered by MLB The Show 16. Today, the New York Giants take on the Milwaukee Brewers. It is opening day here in Major League Baseball. It officially opened last night between the Mets and the Royals. Today, it kicks off between the New York Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. We'll have the first pitch in the lineups coming up next. This is New York Giants baseball on Five Alive. million dollars with annuities a lot of winners last year that's a lot of money hey i got my ticket do you know that every week there's a new game for one dollar with two chances to win like lou eisenberg who won five million dollars i'm in it look i've got my ticket me too lotto is for me this saturday somebody could become lotto's next millionaire will it be you i sure hope so i get my ticket every week i've got your number lotto that's right you gotta be in it to win it you gotta be in it to win it the Mets won again last night, despite Gary Carter's embarrassing error in the fourth inning when he missed a routine pop foul. Routine? For more colorful baseball coverage, read New York Newsday with special playoff and World Series bonus pages. Routine. And a daily scorecard to let you catch every pitch. Carter made a weak throw to second base in the bottom of the fifth inning. What? But the All-Star Slugger redeemed himself in the sixth when he smacked a Pick up a away. copy and see for yourself. The playoffs and World Series are more colorful in New York Newsday. Welcome back to Miller Park, the site of opening day 2016 between the New York Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. Yours truly, John Therios. Glad you could join us here on WON Sports. And, now your and here come the 2016 Milwaukee Brewers. Glad you could join us for MLB The Show game catches across the WON YouTube networks. Glad you could join us for our very first New York Giants game cast of the year. The starting pitchers for today, Madison Bumgarner will be on the mound for the Gigantes and for the Brewers, Jimmy Nelson. A look at Bruce Bochy and here's a look at the New York Giants batting order. Tony Gwynn leads off, followed by Andre Dawson, followed by Hunter Pence, Belt, Posey, Schmidt, Crawford, Sandberg, and of course the pitcher batting ninth. Madison Bumgarner. On the mound, they'll be facing Jimmy Nelson, who's 26 years old, weighs 250 pounds. He is 6'6". That is his height, body, and measurement. Making his first start of the 2016 campaign for the Brew Crew. We'll take a look at the defense for the Brewers a little bit later on, but a sold-out crowd here in Miller Park. For game one of 162, maybe 163 if things get interesting toward the end of the year. And leading off for the New York Giants is Tony Gwynn Hall of Famer. A lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of these ball clubs this year. Thanks to the expansion of the Legends cards by MLB The Show. First pitch of the year underway, ground ball to the second baseman. The throw to first is in time. And there's the first out recorded of the 2016 season. The Brewers defense looks like this. You got Presley in center, Braun in left, Santana in right. The infield is Jeanette Carter, Valor and Hill, and the catching is Luke Ross. That's your defensive lineup for the Brewers, brought to you by Majestic Athletics. Here's Andre Dawson, who played for the New York White Sox last year. Couldn't get a deal signed with them, so now he's with the New York Giants. On the ground to third. And they get the out at first. Two pitches, two outs already. 
Now bring up Hunter Pence, another former sock from a couple of years ago. They're with the Giants of Wilds right now. Last season, they had 275 with nine homers and 40 runs batting, had an injury plague year for the New York Giants. To our pitch by Nelson, swing and a miss strike one. Four teams were covering this season along the WN Sports Network, powered by MLB The Show 16. And glad to do it this year. Line to third. Nice grab there by the third baseman. He'll throw the first in time. Side retired. Nothing across. He played a half an inning with the New York Giants. Nothing. And the Milwaukee Brewers coming to bat. We march on to the bottom of the first inning. And here's a look at your Brewers 1-9 through nine batting lineup. Luke Roy, Valor, Braun, Carter. Jeanette Hill, Presley, Santana, and Nelson. And on the mound, they'll be facing Madison Baumgartner. He's 250 pounds, 26 years old, and his height is at 6'5", at another tremendous season for the Giants. And you see his new look, no more long hair. He now has short hair. One of the best pitchers in baseball on the mound, taking the opening day start. Take a look at the defense as you see the catcher Buster Posey talking with Buster uh, Madison Bumgarner. The Giants defense looks like this. The outfield is Dawson, Green, and Pence. The infield is Crawford, Smith, Sandberg, and Belt. And catching the balls and strikes is Buster Posey. So a good crowd on hand and Jonathan Lucroy will lead off here with 264 average. Seven home runs, couple of runs batted in last year. And what was an injury plague season for Ryan Braun. First pitch by Bumgarner in there for a strike one call. The count. You'll be able to see the strike zone colors of the pitchers and of the batters throughout the season. With well, the new additions we'll be adding throughout the year. The old one to Braun, a little pop up in the shallow right. Sandberg is there for out number one. Jonathan Ballard will lead off here with one out. Had a couple of home runs off the eyes last season. Did not play as well as he would like, he told reporters during spring training. Well, it's a new season, which means a new slate and a new day. A chance to redeem himself. The 1-0 delivery is outside, two balls and no strikes. Or shall I say inside? Two out of Jonathan in there for a strike. One call, two balls and one strike. Bottom of the first in the scoreless game. In game one of 162 for the New York Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. 2-1 pitch on the ground to third. Throw the first in time for out number two. Next Giants game cast will be on five alive. It'll be Thursday. It's the New York Giants versus the Brooklyn Dodgers. The Brooklyn Dodgers are part of our WON Sports schedule. Happy to have them along, but it'll be a Giants game cast. Giants Great. versus Dodgers from the Bolo Grounds. Thursday only on five alive. That one nipped the corner apparently, and that's a strike, and the count is no balls and one strike. Braun did not agree with that. I had to take a look at that again to see where that pitch was located. Two out delivery. Fouled away 0-2 on Ryan. There's another fellow that had an injury plague the year, would like to redeem himself. He has a lot of redeeming. And there's a strike three call, and Braun doesn't uh, believe it and cannot accept it. Hits the bottom half of that corner, end of one, score this tie. We march on to the second inning, and Brandon Belt will lead off. What a season he had, the big slugging first baseman. Left-handed power hitter, he'll step in to lead off the top of the second in a scoreless game, 0-0 between the Brewers and the New York Giants. Nelson back to work. 
First pitch to Brandon. Line. That's a foul ball. Strike one. Nelson said the ball came to sign from Luke Roy. Delivering the 0-1. High fly ball. Well hit in the deep right field. There it goes. So long. Farewell. Brandon Beltran. The first homer of the year is a bomb to right field. And the New York Giants lead one to nothing. And fans, now comes Miller time. When you got the time to figure out and find something special, find the best tasting brew you can find. Miller Highlight, the official sponsor of New York Giants baseball. And what a shot that was. Give him a Miller Light. Brandon Belts won his first home run of the year, and it's one to nothing Giants. Let's take a look at it on replay. Where this ball landed. And there'll be occasion that the camera will not follow the ball, will follow the player doing his home run stance, but this one was ripped into the second deck and right. It took a long time to come down. Home run number one of the year, and it's one nothing, and here's Buster Posey. That's inside. The count is one and oh. It's not the way you want to start a 2016 season if you're the Brewers and Nelson. But it is the right way to begin the season if you're the Giants and Brandon Belt. 1-0 delivery. In on the ground to short. They'll get the out at first. For the first out of the inning. I'll bring up Mike Smith. One of the Hall of Famers on this club. One of the legends on this club. He'll be playing third most of the time. Batting on the right side. There's one out here in the second in a one nothing Giant lead. Pitched by Nelson, swinging him in strike one. Nelson said again. 1-0 delivery. Oh, he was way out in front of that one. Way too anxious on Schmidt's part. And the count is nothing in two. Nelson said again. 0-2 delivery, inside, way inside. The count is one and two, and Schmidt did not appreciate that. Here it is on replay, woo. That could have nailed him around the elbow or the side of the back or something, but no harm, no foul, one and two is the count. The stretch by Nelson, and the pitch to Schmidt. Chopper, but foul, that was an accidental swing, but he stays alive. Remains one ball and two strikes on Schmidt. The long time Philly. Nelson set, and the one-two again, way out in front, swung on him in strike three, two outs. I'll bring up Brandon Crawford, last year at 256 with 21 homers, 84 on the ice. Former New York White Sox had himself a tremendous season in his one year in a sock uniform. Batting on the left side, Nelson set. Two out delivery to Crawford, chopper right back to Nelson. Gobbles it up, throws the first side, retired. One hit, one run. Thanks to Brandon Belt's solo shot. And in the middle of the second, it's the New York Giants one. And the Milwaukee Brewers nothing. Chris Carter leads off last year with the Houston Astros. Had a 199 average, 24 homers, 84 runs pattern. It was a tremendous year for Carter and the Astros as a whole. One and nothing Giants on the Brandon Bell home run back into the top of this inning. To the right side out of play, strike one. Madison Baumgartner with the pitch, swing, and a miss strike two. Baumgartner's Bumgarner said the bell. Oh, two to Carter. Bounce there, and the count is one and two. Happy to be doing another season of baseball game casting with you folks watching on YouTube. We appreciate your support throughout the last couple of years. And as a reward, we're giving you four teams this year. Carter strikes out. Second strike out of the ball game for Madison Bumgarner. One out here in the second. So Scooter Jeanette now the batter. That's kind of batter for Milwaukee. 
Not to be confused with Phil Rizzuto, who had a nickname of the scooter. That pitch was way outside. One ball and no strikes. 1 order to Scooter is inside. Two balls and no strikes. pitch in there for strike one call two balls and one strike right down the pipe it was so no question on that one the two one strike two on the foul ball two balls two strikes is the count and the pitch to Scooter down low, full count, three balls and two strikes. Aaron Hill is on deck. So Madison Bumgarner has to deal with the first situation, which is a full count situation. The payoff pitch, ground ball to third, Smith's got it, throws the first in time, two away. Helping up Aaron Hill. Hill hitting at 230 last year with six homers and 39 runs batted in. Not to be confused, that was his last year's stats, not this year, because it's the first game of the year. Hill takes the strike right down the pipe. The count is no balls and one strike. Rumgarner set at the belt. The 0-1 delivery. High fly ball, well hit in the left field, back is the outfielder, have to play it, off the wall. And Hill's got himself a double, the first save of the ball game from Milwaukee. It's a two out double for Aaron Hill. Here's Alex Presley, 250 average, no home runs and one RBI last year. Has an RBI chance here to try to tie the game up. One of nothing Giants. There's a strike that nipped the bottom corner. A 1 0 delivery. Line foul on two. The pitch on the way. Chopper foul will do it again. Again, the 0-2, struck him out, swinging, side retired. So Bumgarner gets out of the double. He surrendered a moment ago. One hit, a man is stranded, no run score at the end of two. We have Giants one, Milwaukee nothing. Brian Sandberg leads off. Another Hall of Famer in a Giant uniform. Begin the third inning with his team up one to nothing. Foul the way, strike one. Nelson set the belt. And the pitch ripped on the ground toward the hole. Nice slide by the shortstop to get the out at first. Hand a gold star on that one. Tremendous play by the shortstop. So here's Madison Bumgarner, who has three strikeouts total so far, has only surrendered one hit. This is his first that bad of the year, and this guy knows how to slug some home runs. He can do everything. One on to Madison, ripped down the line, nice grab there by the third base, and a high throw, and he's throwing it in the stands. That's gonna be an error. And they're on the third base, and so Bumgarner moves to second base on the Aaron throw. It'll be an E5, and I'll bring up Tony Gwynn with an RBI chance. Chopper foul, strike one. Giants one, Milwaukee nothing. Oh, on the Gwynn. Hit hard on the ground a second to throw the first in time for out number two. We apologize for the glitching. That's the way it's going to happen occasionally with this baseball game. Do not know why. 
but we hope it'll clear up. Here's Andre Dawson, 0 for 1. RBI chance for him right now with Bumgarner at third base. Man's at third, two outs, 1 0 Giants. Pitched by Nelson. Reached for it, grounds it up the middle. And it's booted by the shortstop, but will score. That's an error. 2 0 New York. Two errors in this inning have cost the Brewers, and it cost them a run. So now here's Hunter Pence. Man's at first, two out to run his in, thanks to two errors. There's a strike on the swing and a miss, 0-1. Hunter 0 for 1, grounded out his last time up back in the first. Giants 2, Brewers nothing. Nelson back at the belt. The pitch on its way. Reach for that one, not even close, strike two. And Dawson was moving on that pitch. He's not moving here as he'll throw back to first, Nelson will. Oh, two, and Puncher, Pence looked like a fool at that bat. He strikes out swinging three times. Side retired, but two huge errors leads to a run. And in the middle of the inning, it's 2 nothing, New York Giants. We're moving on to the bottom of the third, and Domingo Santana leads off. 237 average, eight home runs, couple of arms batted in last year. And we begin with the bottom of the third inning and a 2 nothing Giant lead. There's a strike in the corner, and the count is no balls and one strike in. Domingo can't believe it. This from some borderline calls made by the umpire. The old one on the way, chopper foul, 0 and 2. Two to nothing Giants here in the bottom of the third, the pitch on the way, strike three is called, and Bumgarner collects strikeout number four. One gone to begin the inning. Four strikes, we're looking at the pitch sequence of this at bat, pretty good one too. Pitch on the way to Jimmy Nelson is a ball, one ball and no strikes. The 1-0, swing and a miss, strike one. One ball and one strike. 1-1 one, one pitch to Nelson, in there for strike two call right down the pipe. It'll be a 1-2 to Nelson. Pitch by Bumgarner, struck him out on the outside corner. Strikeout number five for Madison Bumgarner. And they're uh, quickly two down. Here's Jonathan Lucroy. 0 for 1 here this afternoon. Popped out back in the first inning. Two out pitch. In there for strike one call. It'll be a no one. And the pitch on the way. Foul away and that was a rip. Look out folks. That was a vicious, vicious cut by Luke Roy. 0-2 pitch. We'll do it again. It'll be an 0-2, and a pitch by Madison. Chopper on the ground to second. And the side is retired. One, two, three, go to Brewers. Two strikeouts collected this inning by Bumgarner. At the end of three, it's the Giants two, and the Brewers nothing. The batter is Brandon Belt, who belted a bomb to right field his last time up. Swings and misses, strike one. Come on, Brewers. 
It is very quiet here in the stadium right now, I can tell you that. Line drive, base hit to right. Second hit of the ball game for Brandon Belt. And a man is on for the Giants. Here's Buster Posey, 0 for 1, grounded out back in the second inning. Man's their first two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. 2 0 Giant lead. Nelson at the belt, keeping an eye on the first base runner. First pitch to Buster. Ground ball, but foul, strike one. It'll be an 0-1. And the pitch. Oh, I don't know what he was swinging at. That wasn't even close. So the count is 0-2 on Buster. Rebel leading off first. 0-2 to Buster Posey. A high fly ball. Well hit in the right center field. Way back is the outfield. At the wall. She's gone. So long farewell. Buster Posey with a two-run shot. To right center extends the Giants' lead to four to nothing. And you know what time it is, folks? It means it's middle light time when you got the time to get something and celebrate something special. Find the best tasty beer you can find with Miller High Life. What a shot by Buster Posey into the gap in right center, and the Giants extend their lead to four nothing. It is the second home run of the ball game, hit by the New York Giants. And folks, that was a crush job. Homer number one of the year for Buster Posey, and it's 4 0 New York, and now here's Mike Smith. Swings and misses strike one. Smith struck out his last time up. Four to nothing New York. Giants against the Milwaukee Brewers. Nelson with the pitch. Chopper right back up the middle. Picked up by the shortstop. Throws the first in time. And there's out number one. I'll bring up Brandon Crawford. Good play by the shortstop there. No bases are empty with one out here. Two runs in. Pitch to Crawford on the ground to first. Carter's got it. Tags first for out number two. Ryan Sandberg the batter. He's up for one, grounded out back in the third inning. Giants four, Milwaukee nothing. And the pitch coming. A high pop up, and the catch is going to get it. And this side is retired. But not before a two-run homer hit by Buster Posey, the face of the Giants. And in the middle of the fourth, is the New York Giants four and the Milwaukee Brewers nothing. Jonathan Veller steps in. He's up for one, grounded out back in the first inning. Giants four, Milwaukee nothing. Yours truly, John Thrills here, coming to you from Miller Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the Giants Baseball Network. Powered by WON Sports and MLB The Show 16. Strike taken, by the way, by Jonathan Valor. Popped him up in the center field. Andre Dawson is under this one. And there's one retired here in the inning. It's Brian Braun. Brian Braun, I should say. I said it wrong, but I said it right now. He's up for one, struck out back in the first inning. Four to nothing, Giants. One out pitch. Took by Baumgartner is a strike. And that nipped the corner. He's been going down low there for a while so far. 0-1 pitch to Braun. It's outside, too high, one and one. One one delivery is down the left field line, hooking it in the corner, and that ball is gone. A home run for Ryan Braun, and the shutout is over. 
And the Bruins on the board, it's borderline. First home run of the year for Brian Braun. And the first home run hit by the Brewers in 2016. Three run ball game. Good piece hitting. Here's the home run hit just now. That ball carried the wrong way, folks, I tell you. That's a clutch job. So a home run by Brian Braun. Ryan Braun makes it four to one. Now here's Chris Carter and swings and misses strike one. Carter struck out his last time up. Bumgarner set the pitch on the way, swing and a miss, strike number two. And the pitch again. Swing on him and she struck him out. And Carter is retired there, two gone. So this Scooter Jeanette, the second baseman, 0 for 1 here today. Two out to run is in, thanks to Brian Braun, Ryan Braun's home run. Come on, Brian. And there's a strike right down the pipe. 0 and 1 is the count. The 0-1 delivery is a foul ball, we'll do it again. Go oh, 2 delivery to the first baseman. Side retired, but not before. Ryan Braun puts the Brewers on the board. In the end of four, it's the New York Giants four, and the Milwaukee Brewers one. Madison Baumgartner leads off. He grounded out back in the few innings ago. By the way, there is action in the Brewers bullpen. We'll tell you who it is later on. As Nelson back to work, with his club now down by three. And there's a hot shot to left field. There's a base hit. We told you that Bumgarner could hit, and boy, he could hit. That was a frozen rope single. Leadoff hit for the Giants here in the fifth inning. And yes, folks, we're in the fifth inning. And here's Tony Gwynn, 0 for 2, struck out twice. Well, not didn't strike out, he grounded out twice. Left-handed batter, Hall of Famer. Love Garner at first. Nobody out here in the inning. And a line drive, deep to right field. That's going to be extra bases. Possibly, but nope, it's going to be a single for Gwynn. Bumgarner runs too slow. So that will bring up Andre Dawson as the Giants have Sutton Cook in here on the top of the fifth inning. That's going to be all for the pitcher. And Chris Capuano, the former Yankee, will come on to pitch for the Bruins. Andre Dawson has grounded out twice. He did bring in a run, but that was due to an error. The pitch by Capuano. On the ground, this could be two. There's one. And not in time, Fielder's choice. There is one out in the inning, though. Hunter Pence now the batter. With a big RBI chance here. One out, the infield is in for potential double play with the runners at the corner. 4-1 to one Giants, pitched by Chris Capuano. Ground ball to third, that could be that double play we were talking about in the days. Side retire. No run scored thanks to the double play. And in the middle of the fifth, we're halfway through, 4-1 to one Giants. We now pause for station ID. Good afternoon, White Sox fans. Store is now in New York State. Hi, I'm Phil Rizzuto with the happy announcement 
that now New York State homeowners can borrow up to any amount, no limit for any purpose at all, and paying back in small payments over many years. The Money Store also specializes in business and government-sponsored SBA loans. For information, call the Money Store toll-free. In New York State, dial 800-632-3262. Gee, it's great to be in New York. <laughs> now, welcome to New York, Gary. New York's a tough town, but it likes winners. Now there are two more, Gary Carter and New York Newsday. Hey, Gary! Is this the way they deliver papers in New York? More late sports, more city news, more neighborhood news than ever before. They sure have a great sports section. For a special home delivery offer, call 718 Newsday. New York Newsday, more than the news. Talk about a big play of the game. That was a big one. As Aaron Hill turned a 4-6-3 double play. And the Giants threatening to score does not happen. 4-1 Giants as we begin the bottom of the fifth inning. And Bumgarner working on a three-run lead. There's a drive down the left field line. That's extra bases. Played off the wall perfectly by the left fielder. Here comes the throw. Not in time, is it? No, not in time. Bang, bang play over at the, at, uh, the second base play. Round ball to first. And they'll get the out. Runner goes to third base. So a big RBI opportunity now. As Alex Presley couldn't do anything with that ground ball. And here is Domingo Santana, the right fielder, who struck out back in the third. This is the pitch on the way. Is the strike. Pitch again. Power ball, strike two. Ball two on the way. Down the left field line. Foul. Pitch. Foul away again. Pitch again. Down the line again, another foul ball. 0-2. Popped him up, foul ground. Could be playable for Posey. And it is. Round number two. So we got a pitch hitter for the pitcher. Yaron Cicchini is the pit batter now. Pitch hitting for the pitcher. Push Capuano. There's a strike. Pitch by Bumgarner. In there for a strike. Nip the outside corner. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, he struck a out, strike at number six for Bumgarner. Side retired, an opportunity for Milwaukee. Goes out the window, end of five, four to one Giants. Enough with the chit chat. What are you up to? Why are you playing games with my life? Why am I here? We've been watching you for months, and you're here for one reason alone, and that's to make sure that you stay off Mark Luther's back. See, we've been watching you, and you're determined to bring him to justice, and we just can't let that happen. So instead of him making you a deal, I'm gonna make you a deal. If you know me well enough, then you know I don't make deals, especially after what you two have done. You have no choice in the matter. The deal I'm offering you the opportunity to stay alive for the rest of the day. That's it. I've had enough of this. I wouldn't go there if I were you. I'm going to ask you one last time. Do you intend to cooperate 
and get off Mark's back. I'd like a simple yes or no. more than 65 million dollars with annuity to lot of winners last year that's a lot of money hey i got my ticket do you know that every week there's a new game for one dollar with two chances to win like lou eisenberg who won five million dollars i'm in it look i've got my ticket me too lotto is for me this saturday somebody could become lotto's next millionaire will it be you i sure hope so i get my ticket every week i've got your number lotto that's right you gotta be in it to win it you gotta be in it to win it Holy cow, we made it. The money store is now in New York State. Hi, I'm Phil Rizzuto with the happy announcement that now New York State homeowners can borrow up to any amount, no limit, for any purpose at all and paying back in small payments over many years. The money store also specializes in business and government-sponsored SBA loans. For information, call the money store toll-free. In New York State, dial 800-632-3262. The Mets won again last night, despite Gary Carter's embarrassing error in the fourth inning when he missed a routine pop foul. Routine? For more colorful baseball coverage, read New York Newsday with special playoff and World Series bonus pages. Routine. And a daily scorecard to let you catch every pitch. Carter made a weak throw to second base in the bottom of the fifth inning. What? But the All-Star Slugger redeemed himself in the sixth when he smacked a Pick up a away. copy and see for yourself. The playoffs and World Series are more colorful in New York Newsday. Good afternoon, White Sox fans. And there it is, a no-hitter. Oh, Just join us. We apologize for the technical difficulties we have here. Foul away, strike number one on Hunter Pence. Gonna try to fix this technical difficulty as fast as we can, but we apologize if we missed any action. That does not look like Hunter Pence. Don't know who this guy is. We'll tell you in a few moments, we hope. To our delivery, high pop up in the right field. And side is retired, but not before two home runs. Buster Posey's solo shot and Crawford's solo shot. Bill to six, Giants six, Brewers one. We march on to the bottom of the six, and Jonathan Lucroy is the batter. Pitch on the way, popped him up in the right feet side. First baseman. Got it, that's Brandon Belt. Out number one. Madison Bumgarner, so far so good, only one on run, but seven strikeouts today. And he's about to deliver pitch number 60, and we're only in the bottom of the six, so he could go all the way. As Jonathan Belder, who's the shortstop, steps in. Pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Once again, we apologize for the technical difficulties we have had. It's this opening day, and we do have that kind of stuff happen. This swing and a miss strike, too. So if we missed anything, we apologize. We'll try to get this fixed as much as we can. Into right field. And it'll be caught by Tony Gwynn for out number two here in the bottom of the six. Throughout the delivery to Brandon Braun is outside. Braun homered his last time up. A deep drive to left field. It's the only run of the board for the Brewers here today. Swing and a miss, strike number two. Strike number one, I should say. 
Throughout the delivery is there for strike one and two. That nipped the outside corner to dismay of Ryan. One, two, foul to do it again. One, two, again. Struck him out, swinging, strikeout number seven for Madison Bumgarner, side retired. Speaking of seven, we go to the seven. End of six, six to one, New York Giants lead. Back at Miller Park, your line score. Giants, six, seven, and oh. Brewers, one, three, and two. The story, Buster Posey, two home run day here today. Madison Bumgarner, eight strikeout. Not seven, but eight. I said seven before, but it's eight strikeout, so my mistake on the miscount. Brian, uh, Michael Breslak will be the pitcher uh, from the bullpen for the Brewers. And Madison Bumgarner, who's one for two today, he'll step in the lead off here in the top of the seventh. Swing and a miss, strike one on Bumgarner. Bumgarner, last time up, had a frozen rope single to left field. The 0-1 to Bumgarner, a ground ball. And is booted by the shortstop, the third base, it throws in into the stands! That's gotta be two hours. The shortstop with the bobble, and then Aaron Hill with the awful throw. That's gotta be two errors. Not just one, but two errors on that one. They'll score an E5, but I tell you, they gotta be two errors on that play. Here's Tony Gwynn. Man's a second, nobody out. Went too far, strike one. On the ground, to the second baseman. Now move the runner to third base, one out in the inning. Andre Dawson now the batter. 0 for 3, grounded out back in the fifth inning. Giants, 6, Milwaukee 1. RBI chance here for Andre. Out of way, strike 1. Up to the pitcher, the catcher's got it as Luke Roy will throw the first two outs. Runner will stay right where he is. So the batter is Hunter Pence, who had a tough day today. 0 for 3, grounded out back in the fifth. Giants 6, Milwaukee 1 in game 1 of 162. On the ground, up the middle, the shortstop bobbles it again. That's got to be a no a run scores, it's 7-1 Giants. Oh my goodness, what has happened to the defense of Milwaukee? Mercy. It's Brandon Phelps, that's got to be an error. They don't score that an error, something's wrong with the scoreboard keeper. High fly ball, deep to right field. Back is the outfielders at the track, at the wall, and it's gone! It's out of here! A home run for Brandon Crawford, I believe. It also could be Brandon Belt. Doesn't matter, it's a home run, and the Giants extend their lead. It's 9-1. to one. Wow! And it is Brandon Belt, his second home run of the ball game. And that ball just got out of here, folks. Wow. And that ball was up in the air a long time. My goodness. Into the giant bullpen, and now there's Buster Posey. 
who also has two home runs in the ball game here this afternoon. To third with foul. That's it, well, deep to right field, that's number three for Posey. It's out of here. Have a career day buster. He busts this game open. And the Giants continue to pound the Brewers with the home run ball. Poster, Buster Posey with his third home run of the ball game. This, to get this guy three more lights. Holy cow, what a day for Buster Posey and the New York Giants. Into the second deck, it went in right. My, oh my. Opposite field power at his best. Here it is again. Right before your very eyes, you said it, folks. Three home runs in one game for Buster Posey. What a shot, and what a day for Buster. 10 to 1 Giants. Smith fouls it back. So Brandon Belt with two home runs. And now Buster Posey with three home runs. Ripped down the line, but foul. Oh, two. Down to short. Long throw on the ground, good scoop there by Carter, and this nightmare of an inning for the Brewers ends. The Giants extend their lead here in seventh inning stretch time, 10 to 1. In a quiet crowd in Miller Park, Chris Carter leads off here on the bottom of the seventh with his club up by down by nine. Nine run lead for New York, and Madison Bumgarner. Ahead of the charge with eight strikeouts hit today, only has surrendered one run. Not that many hits, to be honest with you. To left, but out of play. 0-2 on the foul ball. Pitch on the way. Foul the way, we'll do it again. O2 drive. Deep left field, and that ball is gone. Chris Carter set a home run, now makes it 10 to 2 Brewers. That is some kind of a hit, folks, and the Brewers trying to come back here. As much as they possibly can, here's the home run. And not a bad shot either. Where did this land? Second deck, but not that further in the second deck. Here's Scooter Jeanette. Takes a strike on the outside corner. To third, Smith with the first base throw in time, one away. We'll make it two away. Actually, one away. It'll be a 1-0 to Aaron Hill. 
Down the left field line, that's a fair ball into the corner. Played poorly by the outfielder in left field, and that's going to be a double. Second one of the day for Aaron Hill. So Aaron Hill is at second, and Alex Presley. Oh, that's gonna be an error on Smith. I think he thought it was two men on. And instead of throwing the first, he threw the second. Oh, that's just a, that's a brain cramp. Here's Domingo Santana, they're only gonna get one. Just in time, the throw was high, but man, oh man, that was close. So Will Middlebrooks, the former Red Sox, will now pitch hit for the Brewers in the pitching spot. The pitcher spot, I should say. There are two outs here in the inning. A run is in thanks to Chris Carter's home run. The 2-0 is the strike. The 2-1 is now a foul ball, 2-2. Two and two. Once again, we apologize for the distractions. We're having technical difficulties with our recorder, so please bear with us. The 2-2 delivery, and we'll do it again. Just join us, Giants lead 10-2 against the Brewers here in the Bottom of the seventh, first game of the year. Pitch on the way. In down the right field line, foul ball. Two-two delivery. Popped him up, is it gonna be caught? It's a foul ball. They say it bounced the ground first, so it's a foul ball. Two-two to Middlebrooks, in the right field. Into the corner and foul. Again, the 2 2 hit to right center. Dawson backtracking, makes the catch, side retired, and the Giants get out of a huge jam. But not before Chris Carter tattoos a baseball into the second deck. And the seven. Giants 10, Brewers 2. We move to the top of the eighth, then Brandon Crawford leads off the eighth inning. Got a new pitcher, by the way, for the Brewers. We'll tell you his name later on. It'll be an 0-1. And a ground ball to first. Carter's got it. He'll run the first in time for out number one. Ryan Sandberg, the second baseman, he'll lead off here now with one out here in the eighth inning. Who just joined us, you missed a lot, Brian, uh, Ryan, uh, not Ryan, but um, Madison Bumgarner, pitching so far so good, two earned runs, a couple of strikeouts here and there, there's a high fly ball, well hit in the right field, and that will be caught for out number two. Other storylines, Brandon Belt with two home runs, but the biggest storyline in this game, Buster Posey has hit three home runs in this game this afternoon. He's lingering on deck, folks. He's lingering not on deck, but in the dugout. He has a bat in his hand, all set to go, but you never know. Brandon, uh, Brandon, uh, Milwaukee, uh, I gotta get these names right. Madison Bumgarner is at the plate, swings and fouls it away, strike one. Takes it outside, one ball and one strike. One one, swing and a miss. We do it again. 
One ball and two strikes. Boyer the pitcher for Milwaukee. One and two is the count on Madison Bumgarner. Pitch is way outside, two and two. If you walk the pitcher, there's something wrong with you. Two two to Bumgarner, now it's a full count. With Tony Gwynn lurking on deck. The three two outside the four, he walked Bumgarner in the top of the order for the Giants is coming to the plate, which means Buster Posey will have a chance either in this inning or the ninth inning. Madison leads her first, Tony Gwynn the batter. The two out delivery, hit hard on the ground a second, they'll get the force that second, side retired. One man is stranded with no hits, no runs. We go to the bottom of the eighth with the Giants on top of the Brewers, 10 to two. Jonathan Lucroy, the batter, 0 for three, popped out back in the sixth inning. He'll lead off here in the bottom of the eighth with his club up. We'll make it down 10 to two against the New York Giants. A pop-up bunt to the third base side and Smith makes the catch for out number one. Good play by Mike there. Jonathan Bowers had a day to forget. He's 0 for 3 with the bat, but also he has a bunch of errors on his resume. An opening day to forget for Jonathan Vela. Here's a base hit, a fair ball down the third base side. And Vela's gonna try for two to throw. He's out. No, they say he's safe. The tag went late. From the naked eye, I thought he was out. Apparently he was safe. Here it is again on replay. How close was he? He was safe by a mile. The tag was extremely late. Ryan Braun, who homered early today, is now at the plate. One out, one on. He is there for a strike two call to the dismay of Ryan. That down low corner, folks. Mm. Oh, to the delivery strike three is called. Another K for Bumgarner, and Brian can't believe it. Chris Carter homer earlier here today. RBI the chance for him with a man at second base. Takes a strike, going one. Bottom of the eighth, New York Giants 10, Milwaukee 2. Pitch on the way. It's popped up in the right field, but it'll go into the seats in foul ground for strike two. 0 2 delivery. Popped him up, foul ground again, out of play. 0 2 again. In the right center field, coming on is Dawson, can't get to it. Rowell scores 10 to three on the RBI double by Chris Carter. So they split the outfielders and the batter now is Scooter Jeanette. And the second two outs. Foul away, strike one. 10 to three, New York against Milwaukee. In game one of a three game series here. As that's fouled away on two. Question is how long does Bumgarner stay in this game? We shall see. 0-2 to Scooter in the center. And Dawson is there for the inning over catch. But not before the Brewers get another run. Thanks to Chris Carter, an RBI double. And at the end of eight, it's the Giants 10 and the Brewers three. Andre Dawson leads off the top of the ninth inning with the Giants on top of Milwaukee 10 to three. Yours truly, John Thrills, got to join us for Giants baseball on the Giants baseball network. As that's fouled away, strike one. Oh, 
We apologize for the technical difficulties we suffered this afternoon. We hope to get it straightened out for the next Giant game, which is Thursday at the Polo Grounds against the Brooklyn Dodgers. To third, to play, and it will be a fair ball, and it could be an error. And if it is, it'll be error number five on the Brewers. The rule of the base set. Here's Hunter Pence. And Buster Posey is looming on deck. In the center field, well hit. And that's going to be caught for round number one. Here's the man of the hour, Brandon Belt. In the seventh inning, and of course, he had the first home run of the game in the second inning, but in the seventh, he crushed the home run in the right field just over the wall. Buster Posey is working on deck, by the way, just to let all you folks know. But the infield is in for potential double play, so anything goes. No, he's in there. Here's the pitch on the way. Rip but foul. Pitch on the way to Belt. Struck him out. Oh no, strike two. My mistake. He did not strike him out. My mistake on that. I miscalculated. Apologize. 0-2 is the count on Belt. One at first, one down. Struck him out. Two outs. And here's your man of the hour, Buster Posey. Three home runs today with a chance for number four. Man's that first two outs. Down low, ball one. One ball, no strikes on Posey. One at first, two down. In the center field, it's going to be a base hit. So he will not have a four home run day, but he does have a four hit day. What a day for Buster Posey this afternoon, a career day. And he continues it with a solid base hit up the middle. Here's Mike Smith. First to second, two down. On the ground up the middle, it's... Hit by the pitcher, can he pick him up? He cannot, bases are loaded. Now yeah, bring up Brandon Crawford, who homered is earlier today, a solo shot back in the first sixth inning. He's one for four, the bases are loaded with two outs. 10 to three, Giants lead. They're gonna put a huge exclamation point on this one. Two out delivery is inside, and that almost hit Crawford. That would have brought in a run. Base is loaded. One and all is a count. The pitch on the way. On the ground toward the hole. And it's a base hit. Run will score to 11 to 3, Giants. And the bases remain loaded. So here's Ryan Sandberg and Tyler Thornburg will come in to pitch from the bullpen for the Brewers. Sandberg flew out his last time up. He's 0 for 4. Bases loaded, two outs. And he hits one into the gap to left center. That's going to be extra bases on a score more than one. One run will score. Two runs will score. An RBI two-run double for Ryan Sandberg, and the Giants are blowing this game open. Second and third and two outs. And now bring a mass and bum garner. 13 to three, Giants lead. Second and third, two outs. Baumgartner at the plate. The pitch on the way to him. 
High fly ball. Well hit in the right center field. Can you believe this is gone? Madison Bumgarner with a three-run homer. And it's 16 to 3 New York. The pitcher has gone deep. We told you earlier, he's not only a great pitcher, but a great hitter, and he's just shown it. He clears the bases with a three-run homer, and the Giants are up 16 to 3. Oh my goodness. What a, what a start to Bumgarner's season. But what a start to the Giants season. That's going to be on plays of the month, folks. Wow. Home run number one of the year for Bumgarner. And we may not be the last one either. Tony Gwynn, the batter. It's one the right. Goodbye. Kiss it. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Upper deck. Tony Gwynn goes back to back. It's 17 to 3, New York. And now comes Miller time when you got the time to celebrate something special. Find the best tasting beer you can find. Miller Highlight, the official sponsor of New York Giants baseball. I don't know how many we've given out because of the home run, but man, they are going to be intoxicated after this game. 17 to 3 Giants. Wow. And this one was a no doubter, folks. What a start to this season for the New York Giants. Only game one. But if this is a preview of what we're going to see, it's going to be fun times at the Polo Grounds. Base hit to left field. I tell you, they are really cooking. And Andre could be out at second if he doesn't slide good, and he's safe at second. A double. Well, the hot bats continue to burn for the New York Giants. Hunter Pence now the batter. Runner at second. 17 to three Giants. They're doing all their damage here in the ninth inning. In the left field, that's gonna be a base hit and it'll definitely score a run. And Pence could be a dead duck at second. He's not an RBI double. It is 13 to three New York. And now bring up Brandon Bowden. The Brewers just cannot get through out number three here in the ninth inning. Three for five, Brandon Bowden is. Three for five with two home runs and a couple of hits after that. Runner at second, two outs. Base hit to right. Runner will move to third. Runners at the corner, still two outs here in the ninth. And Thornburg having his worst outing in his career, and it's his first outing, too. The pitch on the way is outside. Ball one, and here's Buster Posey. Four for five, three home runs, and a single. Runners at the corners. 1 and 0, 2 down here in the ninth. And up accidental swing, strike one. I think you would like to get that one back. One one delivery. Chopper foul one and two. Eighteen to three New York. One two to Posey. Line to right field, base hit. Another one scores. It's 19 to 3, New York. My goodness. And now here's Mike Smith, one for five with a single and a run. Two outs. 19 to 3, New York. Two on. Smith fouls it back. Strike one. The 0-1 to Smith, he got a pitch to hit and he missed it, 0-2 on the foul ball. Right 0-2 on the way, fouled away with it again.
Again, the 0-2 struck him out swinging and his inning is finally over. The Sox tee off the score, ton of runs. We go to the bottom of the ninth with the New York Giants feeding the Brewers 19-3. Aaron Hill, the batter, three for three with three doubles here today. As we reach the bottom of the ninth inning and Baumgartner, who's not only had a tremendous day on the mound, but a tremendous day to play with two hits, including a three-run homer, looking to finish off the Brewers here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Line to the second baseman, that is Sandberg, one away. Alex Presley now the batter. Pitch on the way. On the ground is second. Sandberg's got it. They're two away. And the Giants are one out away from getting win number one. As Madison Bumgarner has had himself a career day. Nine strikeouts today, three earned run, but the fact that he's leading by a ton is a big statement, but he's kept it that way. Domingo Santana, the final hope for the Brewers. What they hope would be a miracle well, wait until tomorrow. All one pitch to right field. The inning in the game will continue. Off the wall it will go. Santana on his way to second. He's in there with a two-out double here in the ninth. Kirk Nuenheis. Well, come in the pitch here for the Brewers and the pitcher spot. Trying to keep this game alive. Swing and a miss, strike one. The 0 one underway. Foul away, and the Brewers are down to their final strike. 0 2, and there's a deep drive to right. There it goes. Kiss it goodbye. Home run for Kurt Nuenheis. 19 to 5, New York. with a little bit of a pulse here in the ninth inning. Still a huge deficit to overcome. That one was crushed. Well, Bumgarner trying to finish off this game. Nobody in the bullpen. Another base hit in the left center. Bumgarner trying to get out number three, having a hot tough time right now. Jonathan Ballard about it. Fouls it back, strike one. 19 to 5 is the score. In favor of the New York Giants. And there's a strike, and once again, the Brewers are down in their final strike. Pitch on the way, there is strikeout number 10, and that's the ball game. The Giants win, 19 to five. A dominating performance by the offense. Another dominating performance by Master Bumgarner gets win number one, 10 strikeouts today, including a three-run homer he hit. That is a career day from the bum man. And a lot of new faces you saw here today. Did the job. Big story, Buster Posey, a three-run, three-home run day. Final score, Giants 19, Brewers 5. We'll be back. This Travera label stands for quality. The Carpeteria label stands for low price and dependability. So when you see both labels together, you can be sure that you're getting a fine carpet at an affordable price. Carpeteria offers a choice of 15 different qualities of Travera polyester carpeting and over 250 decorated colors. So come in and see for yourself. 
There are 25 Carpeteria stores, and there's one near you, I'm sure. Back here in Miller Park with the Giants winning 19 to 5 in opening day. Here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Repair the game. Here's this fella, a five hit day for Buster Posey, including three home runs and five RBIs. Take a snapshot of him, he is today's top baseball bubblegum card player of the game. And I'm telling you folks, if this is the way the Giants offense is gonna hit, it's gonna be a fun summer over in the polo grounds and throughout the season, the National League, better look out for this club. Buster Posey, a three home run day today, is today's top baseball bubblegum card player of the game. Be sure to join us Thursday for the for the Subway Series between the New York Giants and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Same time, Thursday, and same station, 5 Alive. Until then, yours truly, John, the real hope of your game, the good game. Final score, Giants 19, Milwaukee 5. So long, everybody. <laughs>